I'm Laura. And I'm Lisa. This is the second place we stayed in Madrid, which was an apartment. Um, dude. This area of town is known as the tribunal area. Its meaning means courthouses, judiciary buildings, and um, all that kind of stuff. So, and it was a great location right off of the subway. Yeah, and across the street from the uh, museum as well. We did finally make it to the mall by subway, thank goodness. <laughs> yes, yeah, subway is definitely easier. Yep. Well, if you can figure it out, Laura kind of figured out what lines to take, what color, and all that stuff. These are just pictures around that area. Our cafe. How do you say that? Cafe Con Lache. Cafe Con Lache. And here's some street dancers that we found going back to the hotel or apartment. Might just zoom in and see them. And forgive me and Laura, we both are under the weather as well. Is it really? That's the subway. Many streets and um, underground cities underneath Madrid. There's net, you go down five stories in the ground to negative five to catch trains. Uh, there are also buses go down there and connect. So it's a huge, huge subway and transportation system in Madrid. Yeah, I'd like to really see the di diagram of that. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yep, negative five. But the museum was very popular as far as the people walking back and forth. The streets stayed busy up until what, three and four in the morning? Yeah. A lot of statues, a lot of history, and a lot of artwork. And this was this a little is church, little church we, we went in to Mass one day. Yep, nice little church, but you can't find it on the map. Come back for part.